what up what up cancer i hope you guys are doing wonderful this is your august reading okay now cancers it's only gonna apply to a handful of y'all y'all was in my inbox talking about why do cancers always last cancers always come first no come last you know you always put them behind first of all last month y'all were first birthday month y'all went first the other times it was because the views were super super low so if y'all got a bone to pick it ain't with me it's with y'all other cancerians y'all need to call them up and say look you need to be looking at these videos get these views up so she can pick us and choose us ain't my fault that y'all own kind is letting y'all down i think y'all need to have an intervention now i know there's a few of y'all that's cool but on the other hand some of y'all y'all need to pull the ones that's having some problems y'all need to go ahead and talk to them and explain to them how this go y'all come on now I know my sister's a cancer, so I know how it is. I know how it is. And I have a certain patience because I have developed a certain patience. But come on, cancers. How you gonna come at me? How you gonna come at there is a method to the madness. It is. You can't be getting all in your fields and taking it out on me. I ain't the one. It's the, it's your people. It's your people doing you dirty cancers. So I say y'all need to get with each other, get a little cancerian group. And be like, okay, when Divinity Diva go live, we're going to have like 50 people try to get in there, you know, and, and, and get the views up so that we can, you know, be first. I'm all for it. I really am. I, I'm i all for it. I want to make y'all happy. So, Cancer, since we got that out the way, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on to the Cancers. She's like, ugh. They was like, why we last? You put us last. You got something against us. I'm like, what the hell? What? What are y'all talking about? All right. So, Cancers, there is a move that's coming in. For some of you, literally, this is like finding an apartment or a house or something like that local. But for a few of you, this is a big move, relocation. Some of you literally are thinking about packing up a U-Haul or whatever and just traveling out. Road trip going to a completely different city or a different state. For a few, this is even going to a different country. Now, I do feel that there is some type of vacation that's coming in. Some of you could be visiting someone who lives in another country. But for a few of you, you may have family that lives there or either you're thinking of moving there. I have a couple of friends that I think are thinking of moving to Costa Rica. So for some of you, there is a big relocation that's coming in. Now, we do have money opportunities that are coming in for you guys. I feel like there are some um, opportunities with more work that could be coming your way. We got assistance and unexpected money coming in, which could be um, second stimulus check. For some of y'all, this could be getting some COVID relief, filling out the assistance forms, getting some type of loan or grant. But for a good majority of you, I feel like there is a job opportunity or money making opportunity that's coming in that could pay really, really well for you guys. Some of you, you're hustling all over the place. I get a side hustle here, a side hustle there, you know, here, a side hustle there, a side hustle everywhere, a side hustle. Whatever it is, you're pouring it all into the bowl and you're building something up. Now, for a lot of you, you're doing this because you're getting ready to move. It's like I want to pull my money in so that I can um, be stable with this. For a few of you, I definitely feel like there is opportunities that may be coming out of other places, which means you could get a job, but it may be taking you somewhere else. Um, or you could get an opportunity to make more money. But you may have to travel for this or relocate for it. All right. I do see if you are trying to have a baby. There's some babies that are coming in. Congratulations. Okay. Now, Spirit was saying for some of you, there's a wedding that's coming in right behind this, which, which I just said it's 2020. So, but I get that there could be a pregnancy. And then somebody is like, okay, now you got to marry me. Put it on a making one to marry me. Put it on a make. Why is that song? Every time I say married, that song come up. And I, oh my God, I gotta get off of that, you guys. Yeah, put him on a make it. So some of y'all gonna put him, put it on him, and y'all gonna get got because there's a baby. So y'all putting it on him, he putting it on you. There's a baby that's coming in, and somebody's like, okay, now you gotta marry me. So cancers will not apply to everybody, but for some of you, definitely there is a pop up baby, and this person is like, look, come on. Now, 2020, you don't have to get married just because you have a baby, but y'all grown people, y'all figure that out. But definitely, I feel like there is a baby um, that is going to be coming in, and it could be, um, you know, not planned. 
Now, some of you definitely are having financial situations. You got money coming in, but there is this thing too of dealing with dead end roads where it's like I'm working a job, but I'm not making enough money, but I'm going to stay there. Or I created this, I'm not pulling enough money, but I'm going to keep putting money into it. I will say definitely pull back and get your strategy right because it looks like for some of you, you have the skill set. You're able to do things. You're very talented. And either you're not charging enough for your services or if you are working for a company, you're not making enough. You know, So there may be this thing of pulling back and looking at other jobs or other things that could be opening up that bring in more financial gain for you guys. Let's see. Definitely get like some weddings that are coming in. Some of you are going to be putting out some money for some type of spiritual thing. This could be spiritual classes. Maybe you're learning something. This could be initiations. But I feel like there's this need of pulling in all your money so that you can do something. Now, of course, for some, this is just like keeping your lights and things on. But for a few of you, I feel like there's a spiritual journey or some type of spiritual growth that's coming in for you guys that maybe you're going to take something to the next level and you're going to pay some money out of it. Some of you could be making money um, with spirituality. You could be readers. You could be a priest or a priestess. Um... You could be opening a botanica or selling products, but I feel like there's some money that's coming in from a spiritual business. Now, I do get conflict in a spiritual community. Some of you could be having an issue with a mentor or a spiritual family. Um, if this is somebody who literally is online, you guys don't get involved in that energy. If this is a folio or foliette that, you know, you post something and then they want to come for you or whatever, you know, send a laughing face and keep it moving. Because some of y'all are definitely dealing with folios, and these are just people that just want to, they want some, they want to start something is what I'm getting. So I feel like somebody's kind of pushing buttons um, to start something because they know that they can aggravate you. Cancers, don't let them get under your skin. Some of you could be in a third party situation where you are dealing with somebody who's in a relationship or married, and you thought it was just like fun. You know, we just doing this. You know, nobody got to know. And then the feelings are changing. Somebody may want to renegotiate. What we doing? What Are we together? Are you leaving your partner for me? Are we going to get married? Are we trying to have this baby? What's going on? And I wonder if the papa baby is coming out of the third party situation too. Could be. But I feel for some of you that you may have a side piece that turns into some type of love connection. And you're not really sure what to do with it because somebody may be like, I want to leave my spouse to be with you. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We supposed to meet, you know, twice a month on Thursdays, you know, do what we do. And then we high five. You go to your place. I go to my place. I feel like somebody's changing. Their feelings are getting involved. This could be you or this could be the other person. But I feel like there needs to be a discussion that is had if you're caught up in that. Now, I do get something with independence, so I feel like some of you could be entrepreneurs starting your business. Um, you may be pulling away. Yes, seven of coins keeps coming up, and this is somebody who's starting a business. This could be homemade products, um, art things, spiritual things, whatever it is. This could be an online business where you're putting your stuff out there. Now, the thing about this is make sure, because if you look at her pa her face, She's thought and thought maybe too many things are coming in her mind and she's missing opportunities because somebody's handing her this money and she's not looking at it. And the dog is like, okay, look, open your eyes. Look at this person. Take this money. I need dog food. What's going on? So don't be so caught up in the ideas of a business that you miss the money that comes in. You can have money that's trickling in, but you may not see it. Cancers. All right. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Some of you may be dealing with death. Uh, I keep getting transition. So you may have somebody in the family who crosses over, uh, which you know what? I just lost my nephew today. So this could be literally dealing with my sister um, and other things that are going on with her. So some of you may be dealing with a loss of a family member. My condolences if this is happening to you. <sighs> cancer, cancer, cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer spirit. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. We got the justice card. We have page of coins. We have queen of coins. I have to think about that for a second. King of wands. 
four of cups, three of coins, ace of wands, the hermit, the devil, two of wands, ace of coins, page of blades, ten of wands, seven of wands, and one more spirit, two of cups, love, love, partnership, all right, cancers, so some of you could be dealing with a legal situation, now, the justice card is a Libra, air sign, Libra, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be going in a court situation with a Libra person or air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, you may need a mediator for this. For some of you, I feel like this may even be a settlement. You could be having some type of work comp thing that could be going on. This could even be somebody fighting for unemployment or some type of assistance. Now, if you look closely at the card too, some of you could be involved in some type of car accident where there's insurance or money payout or money coming in. Drive carefully, you guys. Um, I feel like that there may be an issue with a vehicle. So if you are having any issues, check your maintenance, your car battery, your, your fluids, your, your air, your tires or whatever, just in case you may have to come out of some pocket with some money. But I do feel like there could be a legal case I'm getting something with child support, I'm getting something with car, and I'm getting a, a, something else with a settlement. I'm not sure if this is disability, but I feel like somebody's trying to find balance. They're waiting for this money to come in. So maybe you feel a little bit upside down because you're waiting for some type of payment to come and it hasn't come yet. Some of you literally could just be having some issue with a um, spouse or a former partner when it comes to decisions, but I get mostly this is to deal with money. Now, for a few of you, you may even be getting some type of job offer for some type of legal system. Maybe you are going into the police force or you're, you know, taking the bar exam. But I am feeling that there is a connection with money with this card. All right. Now we have page of coins and then we have queen of coins. Some of you could be hooking up with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo person that helps bring in some money or financial money to you. This could also be in your planet where you have um, Earth sign or Earth energy. I do feel like that there is something that's coming in and it looks like an opportunity that may start off as a hobby or a side hustle that has the potential to really grow into something more. Now, like for some of you, I said this could be a spiritual business. This could be homemade products. This could be art. If you're talented, I feel like you could be taking a talent and learning how to make money off of it. For some of you, this is a family business. Whether this is a biological family or a spiritual family, you could be going into business with someone. Um, we have a woman here who's growing her own vegetables. Some of you may be starting a garden. I do see... Um, I feel like that this is a family-owned business. So for some of you, you literally could be creating something with your children. I keep hearing building an empire, building an empire. I feel a few of you are workaholics and you're trying to pull in as much money as you possibly can. And it's because you're trying to build something for your family. There is an opportunity that is coming in because we have Ace of Coins, which is a new job. So if you've applied for a job, put a resume out, some of you are going to get some good news about a job opportunity that's coming in. And it looks like it's coming in really quick. I feel like if there was some delays with the page of swords, there's something that's going to be discovered, which means that your resume could be moved to the front or they're seeing something in it that really makes you stand out as a candidate. For a few of you, you're going to be working with a group of people. This could be working as a team. Some of you are going into an apprenticeship where you're learning something or learning a skill, but it's going to open up a door to a permanent job. So if you're tempting, um, if you are studying under someone, apprenticing under someone, studying under someone, um, you may get an opportunity to move a little bit um, higher up and get a permanent position. I feel like there's good, good um, money that's coming to you, Cancers. Now, it is coming through your skill set. So for a lot of you, 
whatever this job is, maybe a talent or something that you have acquired that you're going to expand on. Like I said, spiritual, reading tarot cards, um, creating things, building things, sewing things, whatever it is, you're going to expand on it. For a few of you, if you're in corporate America or you're working at nine to five, this is literally working with a group of people utilizing your talent to move forward. But it looks like it's bringing in good positive energy with finances, especially if you had some delays. And I feel like some of you have. Um, I do get something where there may have been a temporary hold on something. So if you had applied for a job and they were like, okay, we haven't got the information in yet or we're waiting for something to come in i do feel like there's some positive news that's coming in about this job so this is going to be a text message or a phone call could even be coming in the mail but it's telling you that you have got some type of position could be working definitely with a group of people on a project and moving forward now let's see i get that there may be issues with one-sided relationship Jess, can you come plug up my laptop real quick? I'm about um, 1%. Come. come, 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 so I don't lose it. I thought I had it plugged in. Where's that? You see it down there? I feel like if some of you are dealing Wait. with a relationship, you got it, babe? That there may be this thing of one-sided. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This could be with work. This could be a friendship where you feel like, thank you, babe, mm -hmm. that you're putting, oh, I even got brighter, mm -hmm. that you're putting in more energy than the other person. Um, with this card, this is showing somebody that's offering something, but it's not being reciprocated. So if you're dealing with a friend and they're not putting in the same type of energy or a relationship, they're not putting in the same type of energy, I feel like some of you are going to walk away. The Hermit card is almost like, I want to be by myself or I'm out. So I feel like if you've been putting a lot of energy trying to get somebody to open up to you, say you just started dating somebody or you're in a relationship, some of you may be coming to the conclusion that this is more work than what you actually want to put into it. And I feel like that for a few of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's having some issue with depression. They could be going through something. If this is not you, Cancer, somebody could be saying, you know what, I'm trying to get to know you, but you, you know, your energy is off or you're depressed. If you look at these two cards, both these people, their head is down, they're not feeling good. This is saying.